Hey guys, so as you know, we are in the thick of holiday launches, not only just being revealed, but also coming out so instantly. I've been so busy chasing these makeup releases and there's a few that were just revealed that I I gotta talk about. Now there's a number that I didn't even get to do a shopper drop on because they just they dropped so quickly <laughs> and then I literally picked them up and reviewed you know the new Natasha Denona palette. I picked up the new Too Faced palette, the new Tarte palette. So definitely check out the videos that I've posted recently in case I missed anything in this video that you might have been curious about my thoughts on. I might have already reviewed them. Things have been moving quick, but there's a few really, really, really exciting ones that I want to talk about with you guys. There's a couple drops in this one too, by the way. So let's go ahead and get started with like the one, the one that I'm most excited about. Well, there's two that I'm most excited about, but this one is what prompted me to turn my camera on. ABH. The new ABH holiday palette is coming out. And so first... Let me just scroll down a little bit. This is what we saw for a couple days. And already the packaging, I was just like, is this going to be like a rich, delicious, deep fall? It was fall romance is what it's called. I was like, oh, how am I about to feel about this palette? Because I think I'm going to like it. And then we got this. And I am in love with this color story. No, it honestly is not to my taste of what I wear on an everyday basis, which by the way, I did film a tutorial on today's look. I'll have everything that I'm wearing down below, but it will be featured in my monthly YouTube subscription beauty buffs. If you want it, I have a whole catalog of tutorials. This is gonna be one of the tutorials coming soon. But anyways, I like lighter looks. This one, it's giving so much depth. If you have a medium deep, deep dark skin tone you have met your match i'm honestly so happy that they're coming out a palette like this with so much depth because i feel like my medium and deeper skin tone girls are going to be drooling over this this is going to look gorgeous on your skin tone so kudos to abh for that but even on me on my lighter skin tone I'm gonna rock some deep smoky fall tone looks, <laughs> I guess. I'm excited for this. I, I will say, I don't know if I would have picked this up if I did not do what I currently do for a living. Like, I make money by creating looks, reviewing products, and buying it. If I was in my previous life as only a PE teacher and not a makeup reviewer, not a YouTuber, this probably would have been a drop for me because... I just don't need to be wearing those dark tones out. But since I get to play with makeup for my job, I'm really excited for this. I feel like it's it looks pretty unique, at least the way that they've added the colors because there's brown tones, there's a fun green, there's also deep warm tones, and the shimmers, you have wearable golds, but you also have those purples. This divine shade right here, I mean, absolutely divine. I'm very curious as to what the formulas are going to be. I'm not on their PR list, so I have my um my email in there. I'm going to pick this up as soon as it launches, but how beautiful. So it looks like, you know, this first of smoke and leather, kind of more cooler tones. The green's going to be fun to pair with the purple. It really does look like you can get wearable looks. Oh, I like that there's this really dark shade twilight here, black, to make it smoky. I'm very curious as to what looks I'm going to create with this. I feel like there's not a lot of palettes out on the market that has this variety in color, and I feel like you're going to be able to get a lot of different looks with this, and I'm hoping it's that same delightful, delicious ABH formula. I'm so excited for this. I want to see some deeper skin tone tutorials of this because in my head, it's just going to look beautiful on those types of skin tones, right? I cannot wait to see it, but no, I will be picking this up as well this is not for people who like light makeup definitely you're gonna want a deep smoky eye probably if you're going to pick this up but we'll see it in person it 110,000 percent is a shop for me i'm excited about this this color story seems fun it seems different and i just really love the direction that abh has been going with their palettes i'm excited about this but i really do think like look at this here's the video it is oh i'm sorry it's not going to be for everybody, but I think it's a great 
fall palette. That's a shop for me. Okay, let's talk about the next most exciting thing. It's only not as exciting as the ABH because what is inside has not been revealed yet, but we have the outer packaging of the new, probably my all-time favorite holiday launch. I don't know, because you know, I always love a big Pat McGrath collection and stuff, but like this is quality-wise, like it's the most reliable launch to me. I know I'm going to love these. The new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette says this year it will include four palettes and look at the packaging, how cute. Oh, mm, mm, okay, I've gotta be honest with you guys. I can't say too much about it because I, I have them. <laughs> the brand has not yet revealed the inside yet and I want to be respectful to the brand. We're gonna hold off. I'm not gonna post my video until launch day. But just know, I saw this before I actually got my hands on them, like this, and it was a shop for me, hands down. I've bought every single one in the last few years, many, many years actually, that have launched. This is a reliable launch to me because they are so consistent with their quality. These are my favorite powders. I'll grab for them whenever I can. I'm always excited for new colors, repeat colors, whatever I liked. I'm a collector of these palettes. They are my favorite. Um, I cannot, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything else about the palettes, even though I really, really, really want to, and even though I really, 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 really want to show you what's inside, but um, I can't, but these would be a shop, and I can't wait for these to be revealed to you guys, because as always, this is one of my most favorite, most exciting holiday launches. That's all I'm gonna say. They, they didn't sponsor it or anything to me. They did send these to me in PR, but I'm just... We're gonna leave it up to the brand for the big reveal, but I'm really excited about these. As soon as these do get revealed, you better believe I'm gonna I'm a be in there, okay? I'm gonna be showing you, talking about the colors, <laughs> all of that. So really, really excited about that. You can actually put your email in to sign up for access when these do launch. I actually do have a code. I think it's Morgan10. I'll confirm with that in a second. If you do want to shop it, I'll put the link down below for you to sign up if you would like. But super excited about these. Always excited about these every year. So this is always one of the biggest, most exciting launches for me. This one is not nearly as exciting, but I did just want to talk about this because I saw it in person in store at Ulta. And I also saw this with the new Tarte palette and the new Too Faced palette, which I would have talked about if I hadn't already reviewed them. I shopped those. I wasn't even gonna shop the Too Faced palette, but I thought it was so beautiful. I saw this one, didn't even know it launched. It's a major drop. I did not like the way that this looked in person. I just feel like it's a random mix of colors, colors that if you have just a few eyeshadow palettes, you probably already have these. I just am not the biggest fan of the quality of these and I will try them. You know, I've bought some in the past recently that I did like the color stories for. So if I like the color story, I can be convinced to purchase these naked palettes. This one, this color story, she's kind of random to me. It's kind of an ugly color story. <laughs> I didn't swatch them, so that's my mistake. Maybe the quality is amazing, uh, but it's been a while since an Urban Decay palette has had amazing quality. They've had decent quality ones recently. The smiley ones I really liked that launched, they were great for travel as well. But this one, Metal Mania, I just feel like nobody asked for this. Nobody asked for this color story. It's just very random, if you ask me. So I did want to get my two cents in on that. I'm like scrolling three through to make sure I'm not missing anything excited. Have a review on this already if you missed it. This one was also a really, really, really huge one. Already have my review up on this one. I have two tutorials in that review and then I also did another tutorial on a short form video as well on this palette. So I've gotten some play time with that. Also, I got excited because it did say Marc Jacobs Beauty was coming back, but it's not coming back until 2025, so. Okay, <laughs> not as excited anymore about that. Already did a review on that one. Wow, I've been doing a good job at my job reviewing all of these. I saw this one, this one is a drop, but I'm kind of excited for Kosas to dip their toes into the eyeshadow game. And then I, I shocked this. 
This is from Gucci. It's their new concealer. Anything Gucci Beauty, I buy it. I just love the aesthetic of the brand. I'm not as big of a luxury beauty reviewer as I was in the past, but there's certain brands that I will still spend the money on, and Gucci is one of those. Not their eyeshadows, but like <laughs> if they redo their eyeshadows, I might try, but this, I had to pick it up. So it's currently in the mail to me. I'm really curious about that. So obviously that was a shop since I did purchase it. And I think that's it of anything interesting to show you today. It was just revealed the new Halloween collection from ColourPop. If there's one thing ColourPop consistently does well, it's their Halloween collections. The last two years have been so nice and this one also looks great. Just due to my vast ColourPop collection, I would say it's a drop for me. I'm not even into Halloween, honestly, but I am getting in this NPR most likely, I think, and I'm not mad about it. So let me just put it that way. Wouldn't spend my own money on it, but I do have a large collection, so keep that in mind. But also, not upset to receive it. I will most likely be keeping this collection if it does enter my hands. Oh, already a lot of new holiday stuff. Is this a pinata? No. You pulled to open it. <laughs> Should have been a pinata, though that would have broken everything. I always like these butter gloss sets. NYX always has really good stuff. It's been a long time since I've tried a lot of new NYX stuff. I feel so out of date with their brand when I honestly consider myself one of the original users of NYX. I used them before they were ever sold in stores. I would order when they first redid their line, I ordered in bulk and I mean I was probably 13. I wish I still had pictures of all of the NYX stuff <laughs> that I used to own but anyways I'm totally out of touch with their brand now. I, it would behoove me to probably do a full face. Okay I'm just I'm chit-chatting about nothing. Okay anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this shopper drop. It was pretty curated today because I just I wanted to talk about what I wanted to talk about, what I was excited about, what I am <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's not over. I forgot one thing. It just wasn't on the trend mood page. Hold on, hold on. I am such a dumb diddly dum dum that I forgot to talk about the new groundwork palette from Danessa Myricks. It's a really useful concept, especially for makeup artists. It's available on Sephora now. They didn't have any good pictures. That's how I forgot to mention it to you guys. But this did launch at Sephora and it is a palette of so many neutrals and I do believe two different formulas, right? But this is supposed to work for every skin tone, eyes, lips, face, contour, eyeshadow, whatever you want it to work as, which I think is a really neat concept. But I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's going to be a drop for me for now. Normally, like I can tell if I'm excited about a product if I plan on purchasing it right when it launches. I'm not saying that I'm never going to purchase this, but at this moment of time, I'm not going out of my way to purchase this. I think, you know, it might be something that I will pick up for review purposes, like during the Sephora sale or something. Not running to review it and get it up right away for you guys, but I could potentially end up with this palette. I, I have nothing to say about the concept. I think it's fun, it, but it's also boring. I don't, like, <laughs> the concept is cool, but it's a brown neutral palette. I just bought the Patrick Tot one, which also, you know, not the most exciting one, but I was more excited for that one. I think the different formulas are kind of, nothing bad to say about it. I'm just, I'm not itching to run out and have it in my collection. I'll probably end up with it knowing me, but it's a drop, you guys. So if you've tried this, let me know if you are interested in it let me know, uh, but you'll, you'll, you'll probably end up hearing about this from me, but it's not going to be soon. It's gonna probably be a Sephora sale pickup. It's just not for me. I think it's more so for makeup artists. I don't need that many browns. I'm not dying to share about this with you guys. So um, yeah, sorry if that disappoints you. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm just not super into it for whatever reason, but Ooh, see, so you can even use it for brows. No, the concept of it, so cool. But it's not feeding my soul at this exact minute for, I don't know, I know I'm gonna end up with it because I'm me, but what a change from the launch, launches in the last two years, actually, from Danessa Myricks. They were those crazy, multi-chrome, multi-dimensional, multi-use, get the shadows wet, 
crazy artistic palettes. And not that this one isn't artistic, but it's just a complete 180 from the last two holiday launches, which I believe did very well. But can't believe I almost forgot to mention that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this shopper drop. As always, this is an opportunity for discussion. I want to hear your thoughts about all of the new holiday launches. Are you shopping them? Are you dropping them? Do you want to see me review them? I want to know down below. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.